You've got to tune to KEXP. We're listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle. You can find us online around the world at kexp.org. We're streaming live video this morning. We've got one of our favorite artists live in studio. Welcome back. It's Oscar. Thank you. You brought a few more friends with you this time, and I would love to meet them. But can you start us off with a song? Yeah. Um, the first song I'm going to play is called Going Home.
Scared Live on KEXP, a song from the beautiful album In the Silence. Tonight they play the Columbia City Theater. And again, so wonderful to have you back. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Um, This next song is called um, Summer Guest. Yeah. 
so beautiful. It's Ausgier Live on KEXP. I love that song, both in English and Icelandic. You and Julia's voice sound beautiful together. Thank you. We had you live on air from Iceland Airwaves with a band uh, last fall, but first time that you were here in our studios, it was just yeah. you and Julius. That was back in 2010, I believe. 2000, no, 2012. Well, yeah, 2012. Yeah, it was our first um, trip outside of Iceland ever, you know, because of um, playing music at least. So I remember that very clearly. Yeah. Man, what a past couple of years it's been for you, because um, you've done quite a bit of touring and playing yeah. since then. Can can you tell me some of the places that you've been? Have you been outside of Europe and the U.S.? Uh, yeah, yeah. We've, we've pretty much been um, all over the place. Um, we um, we've been we took two trips to um, uh, Japan. Um, been to China, Australia. Um, pretty much everywhere um, in Europe at least um, we've been going to the same places a lot like um, France um, England and Germany many places like five times uh, since so we've been we've been pretty much touring ever since I was here the last time I think <laughs> has that been enjoyable for you I know that you can be quite shy and you've certainly come out of your shell in the last two years meeting so many people but I've read in interviews that there was a point where you were like trying to think is this the life I want all yeah. this being on the road how's it been and how do you feel about it now um, I actually feel good about it now and and I'm kind of more just looking forward to the future you know than than I was maybe um, a few months back or a year back maybe um, well it just um, Usually it's it's a lot of fun and and it's it's I uh, just look at it as a privilege to be able to be a musician and playing my music and with you know my best friends just touring around the world you know so usually it's like that but of course you have good days and bad days and and you miss home sometimes and but um you know we've been doing it now for two years straight pretty much 300 shows over 300 shows and um, so we're pretty used to it. No, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you mentioned your friends. You sound amazing. I know you can do this with two, uh, or what you can do it by yeah. yourself, and you've done it with, uh, you know, over ten people. Tell me who's here with you today. Yeah. Um, well, I have Yuli here with me, like last time. Yuli uh, is Robertson. He's playing guitar here with me and 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 um, singing backup vocals. Um, then we have Helgi on drums, um, and my older brother here, Steini. Oh, it's great to meet you. And Kitty um, on synthesizers and pretty much everything here. Um, and they, the three of them, my brother Kitty and Helgi, they were in a band before um, they started playing with me. So um, they knew each other for a long time before and uh, kind of got Helgi here, the drummer, with us um, into this project, which is great. I'm glad we're streaming this live because you all look amazing, especially Helgi <laughs> over there playing the drums. It's wonderful to meet all of you. And you have been, and I'm assuming your brother, I know you come from a musical family, you've mentioned that before, but you've been playing music for much of your life and writing since you were quite young. Is that right? Yeah. Um, you know, I started playing with writing songs about uh, when I was maybe nine or ten or something. Yeah. Um, you, you're singing these songs now in um, English. I know you're going to sing one of the songs in Icelandic, yeah. and your album in 2012 was an Icelandic version of the songs that you sing in English. And I know that um, from speaking with you in the past that you took the lyrics from that, from poems of your father. He's yeah. been writing since he was young. and. Yeah. You said that in a past interview that the lyrics were inspired by his surroundings, and I know that you grew up in a beautiful area outside of the city. And I'm wondering if you're thinking already what you're going to, what the themes are on your next record, or maybe next. you've even started it. Um, well, um, yeah, I've been thinking about it. Um, you know, either I, I really liked working with my dad on on the last album, and it. it um, it worked really well, um, but Juli Julius was also one of the lyricists on the album, and uh, it was just really um, a nice process we went through with, um, you know, me writing the songs first, and then they kind of writing the lyrics to the songs, and it went really well. Um, but you know, for the next album, I don't know. Uh, I'll probably be, be working with my dad on some of it, but um, hopefully, I'll be 
writing, writing some of it on my own um, as well. But uh, we'll, I guess we'll just have to see. Well, you're lucky you have so many wonderful options. You're yeah. surrounded by so many talented people. <laughs> Speaking of talented people, I know John Grant helped worked with you yeah. on the English translations. And since those albums came out a couple years apart, I sort of assumed that you recorded them a couple years apart. And I was only recently reading an interview where I thought I understood that you did them quite close together. Is that right? The the, the English version and the Icelandic one? Yes. Um, yeah, we, we just started with uh, the English version pretty much um, a couple of months after we released the Icelandic one, you know, um, at least working on the English one, you know, we didn't we didn't change anything with um, with the uh, music and and the instrument parts on, on the album. So it's pretty much the same album, except for we um, recorded the vocal parts, all of the vocal parts again, and uh, that's that's the only um, difference f from um, the Icelandic version, you know. Um, so it's, I always look at it as the same album, you know, and, and the lyrics are about the same things and um, pretty much, you know, some of them are really direct translated, but, you know, um, what we tried to do was get the same flow and, and, and um, the same feel as in the Icelandic lyrics, um, which John Grant did a great job with. He's incredible how yeah. quickly he learned the Icelandic language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, we actually did it most of it together. But he, he had trans, he had direct translated all of the lyrics before we uh, came together and and kind of finished it up, you know. But so he's amazing. Yeah. You are going to spend quite a bit more time on the road. Is that right? Will you get to take a break soon? And yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're, we're, I think we have like one week left now of this. Um, uh, run here we're doing now um, then we go back home for like um, one and a half or two weeks for it's a festival back home in Iceland called Iceland Airwaves and we're playing there I've heard of that yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, so we're gonna do a, like a big show there with um, brass section brass section and orchestra and and some some something that we have never done before so we're gonna kind of do something special there um, then we go back on the road for a month in um, Europe, then we spend the New Year's in Australia, um, and we finish up with a support tour here in the States in February with um, Hosier we're doing, yeah. That is a lot more touring. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to start working on a new record, do you feel in your mind that you need to carve out a quiet time and a space to do that? Yeah, I, I, I feel like that, and I'm kind of looking forward to, you know, I, I like touring and, and all that, and I'm looking forward to to the next months and then just of touring you know and, and and but i'm really looking forward to going home in in march maybe and uh just getting some proper time to spend on you know focusing on the next album hopefully yeah and spend time with family and spend time with the family yeah <laughs> well we're so happy to have all of you here today thank you so much for coming in can you. you uh place more yeah it's oscar live on kexp This song is called King Cross. Glistening night, time to, and she is walking with me from the house of red. I hear a child crying for his head been home their prayings from their jaws and the forest knows but it won't share the secret when the king takes sides leaving
her secret When the king takes up Live in the KEXP studios with Ausker playing tonight at the Columbia City Theater. And I've got one more song. Yeah.
Será que é bem? It's Out Scared Live on KEXP. Out Scared, last time you were here uh, in 2012, you and Yuli went to Aberdeen to see the hometown of Kurt Cobain. I know you're a big Nirvana fan. Yeah. You probably don't have as much time this time. No. Well, we, we didn't actually go to his hometown. I wish we had. Um, we were thinking about it, but we went to his, his house here in Seattle. Oh, that, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So we walked there. No, we got a cab there, and then we got lost on the way back, so it took us about four hours to get to our hotel, just walking. It was fun. I remember that story. I think that's why I thought you went to Aberdeen, because it yeah, was a yeah. four-hour exactly, yeah. journey for a 15-minute... Uh, yeah, we were just stupid. Two two guys, yeah. never been outside of Iceland. and You were yeah. excited, <laughs> excited. Um, you probably don't have as much free time on this visit, but any uh, Seattle sites that you're interested in trying to catch this time? Um, I was thinking about if we had some time, we were maybe going to the museum here, you know, the Jimi Hendrix Museum. and. Um, well, that's right around the corner. Yeah, it is. So um, maybe we'll go there after this. <laughs> well, you're playing tonight at the Columbia City Theater, which is a beautiful venue, and you'll love yeah. it. And we're so excited that you're here. Thank you all so much. Thank, Thank you. you. It's Out Scared Live on KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.